Hey guys, it's Pope and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am a weightlifter that recently had a baby. So core strength has been at the top of my priority list in 2021 with having had a C-section. I learned a whole lot during this process of rehabbing postpartum and I've also been training for my certification in training for pregnancy and postpartum women. So I made this video to share some of the exercises that I've discovered that I like best now for core strength training. So let's get started and dive right in. Training for core strength before and after babies are two very different beasts. So I'm going to break up this video into two different categories. First, those with no limitations, you haven't given birth before, no abdominal surgeries, and secondly, for my moms. We'll start out first with my favorite exercises for the traditional athlete no babies and haven't had any abdominal surgeries. These are for you. The sky is really the limit here. The possibilities are endless for ways that you can work your core. You've probably thought of hundreds on your own already, but these are my three favorite exercises that are super challenging for me, even before I had Scarlett, and they're a little bit out of the box, so maybe you haven't seen them before. So let's get started. First exercise up is lever downs. You're going to start out laying on your back and lift your tailbone a bit and slide your hands under there, palms facing down, and then point your toes up to the ceiling so you're in a pike position. Then you're going to slowly lower down your legs until they will hover above the ground without touching the ground. And the key here is to not let your lower back arch while you're bringing your legs down. So you're keeping your lower abs engaged the entire movement on the way down and then pulling those abdominals in and up as you raise your legs back up to point towards the ceiling. This is a nice slow and controlled movement. You don't wanna rush. You wanna feel those abs engaged throughout the entire movement. Next up is med ball V-up passes. This is a really challenging one, especially if you have a heavy ball to work with. So you're gonna take the traditional V-up, which most of you have probably seen before, and add a medicine ball into the equation to make it a weighted movement. So you're gonna start with the med ball in your hands, lying on your back with the ball over your head. Do a V-up and at the top of the V-up, when you're in that closed pike position, you're gonna transfer the ball from your hands to your feet and then lay back down. Now you're gonna to have to really use those abs to control the movement on the way down to not lose your ball, to not let it go bouncing across the floor. Next movement, you're gonna do the V-up again with the ball between your feet and you gotta squeeze your legs together to make that happen, which also engages your core, and then pass it back to your hands. So you do back and forth like that. This one is super hard for me, always has been, always will be, but it's a great weighted ab exercise, which there aren't a lot of choices for those. Next up is going to be the walkout. This is a variation of a plank. So you're gonna start standing up with your hands on the ground in a forward fold pike position and walk all the way out past your traditional push-up position plank until your arms are way out in front of you and your ears are covered by your shoulders. So it's like a, a hollow body hold, but instead of laying on the ground, you're hovering in the plank position above the ground. Then you're gonna walk your hands all the way back to touch where your feet are. Now the key on these is to not let your hips rock back and forth and sway side to side. You wanna keep your hip bones straight forward like headlights driving a car, straight pointing to the floor the entire time, not rocking side to side. So you're really gonna be working on that core stability on this one. Next category up is for my postpartum gang. Whoop, whoop. These are really great for anyone to incorporate into their routine, but especially great for the moms. If you've had a baby within the last year, have any symptoms of diastasis recti or any pelvic floor dysfunction, or even if you've had an abdominal surgery not related to childbirth. These are the exercises I have found most helpful and are considered safe to perform while you're still healing from any of those things. As always though, check with your doctor and make sure to get clearance before you do any kind of exercise. The key to postpartum core strengthening is to really focus in on the transverse abdominis. These are your deep core muscles. And these exercises I'm about to show you are really going to get those firing. Let's hit the floor. <laughs> the first exercise is a dead bug with a dumbbell press. Um, most people are familiar with the dead bug where you lay on your back 
and you lower the opposite arm and opposite leg at the same time. I learned this one from Mama Stay Fit, which helped me learn so much about postpartum training. And she incorporates the dumbbell press with these. And I think it really helps you activate your uh, transverse abdominis and pull your pelvic floor up as you do this movement, which is great training for transferring over to harder movements when you're standing. So to perform the dead bug with a press, you're going to lay on your back, your arms are going to be straight up towards the ceiling, and you're gonna start with your knees pulled about halfway up towards your chest so your shins are vertical to the ceiling. And then you're going to lower one leg and also bend one arm like a bench press, the opposite arm as leg. And then you're going to bring that leg back into the neutral starting position and do the dumbbell press at the same time as that. So you're getting opposite sides firing at the same time, which is working your oblique slings. And you're also getting that pressing mo movement that's gonna really require a lot of core strength firing that transverse abdominis. I love this movement because it gives you a lot of biofeedback. You can really feel your abs engaging when you're doing that press. One thing to remember, with any postpartum exercise, you're going to inhale on the easiest part of the movement and exhale on the harder part. So when you're bringing that leg back to neutral and doing that one-armed bench press, make sure you are breathing out with the movement. This is gonna help take any pressure off of your pelvic floor and really get the uh, pressure regulated in the proper way. Next exercise is a bear position kettlebell pass-through. We're going to start on hands and knees like a tabletop position and then lift your knees to hover off the ground a couple of inches. If this is too challenging for you, there will be a scaled version I'll show in just a minute where you can leave your knees on the ground. And you're gonna really dial in those core muscles. Really think about engaging those abs, pulling your stomach up and in. Don't let it hang down. Then you're gonna reach through to where your kettlebell is set up next to you and pull that kettlebell across your body to the other side and then alternate with the other arm. So you're reaching through and pulling the kettlebell to the opposite side. Just like I talked about in the other exercise, the plank walkouts, on this one you don't want to rock your hips side to side. Your hip bones are like headlights and you want both of your headlights facing the floor right now, not rocking back and forth. That's the key to training these stabilizer muscles is to activate during a movement and to stabilize your spine and help regulate the pressure throughout your body when you're performing harder exercises. I really love this one for getting all of those tiny muscles firing. Here is the scaled version. You're just gonna stay on your hands and knees. You still wanna focus on drawing your belly button in and upwards, and the movement is exactly the same just without those knees hovering on the ground, which makes it quite a bit easier. I definitely recommend this version on hands and knees if you are recently postpartum. And this is a great exercise to do with minimal uh, impact on your pelvic floor. Next up is a banded side plank. On these, you're going to take a mini band and put it around your knees, and we're going to do a side plank on the knee. So you're gonna start set up on your side, resting on your elbow, and also have contact points at your hip and your knee on the side of your body. I want you to set these up with closed hips, so you're, you're not in a straight line here. You've got a little bit of a pike position going on. Then you're going to start the movement by opening your hips and squeezing that glute to press your hips forward and using your oblique to lift upwards into the plank. Once you reach the top of the plank, you're going to do a clamshell basically. You're going to drive that knee upwards and out towards the ceiling, which is going to fire that glute that's stacked on top of your body, the other leg. Then return your knees back to center and rest back to the ground. This is a great exercise for firing your obliques, your glutes, and your transverse abdominis at the same time. That's why I love this exercise. If you want to focus on improving your core strength, you should check out the program that I just created. It is six weeks of an add-on program, so you can incorporate this to any existing workout routine. Anyone can use this plan to get their core strength improved. It's a six week plan like I mentioned. The workouts are about 15 minutes and you can add it on to whatever workout regimen you're already doing. We will be working the abs of course, but also your obliques, glutes, hips, and lower back to really improve that 
stability and strength for about 15 minutes per workout. And of course, the side effects of having a stronger core may include having some more toned abs and time for summer too. If you want more information on this program, check it out on my website, dynamicpursuit.net. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again soon. Bye.